Hi everyone, today I'm here to show you how to make the aquamarine bracelet designed by Velvety Looms on Instagram. So this is the bracelet. I have two, um, what is it called? Um, of them right here. I don't know what I was going to say. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. Um, it is really easy once you get the hang of it. So, um, yeah, so if you do make this, don't forget to use the hashtags. So if you do make the bracelet, make sure you hashtag Aquamarine Bracelet, hashtag Moon Lily, and hashtag Velvety Looms on Instagram. And also make sure you tag us at Moon Lily and at Velvety Looms so we can see your addition. And yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the things needed. So today, for the bracelet, you'll be needing a hook, and I'm using my Rumble & Model Tip Hook. You can use the crochet hook, which I do have one, but I won't be using it. Um, you'll also be needing some bands. So, um, for the, um, white in this bracelet and the Mother Pearl in this bracelet, I will be using a Mother Pearl again. And for the zebra stripe in this bracelet and the blue from the dark, from the blue paradise mix, I will be using um, this light blue. And for the zebra stripe right here and the baby blue fairy sweets in this bra and the bracelet, I will be using um, tie dye pink and blue and. Also for the, um, what is it? What is this called? Uh, prism white. I'll be using zebra stripe, and for the um light blue glitter in this bracelet from the Blue Paradise Mix pack, and the glitter green from the Glitter Brilliant Mix pack, I will be using a metallic gold. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. You also be needing a C clip or any type of closure to close out the bracelet when you're done. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an eight loop setup. So if you don't know how to do that, um, I'll be showing you. But if you do, you can go ahead and do your eight loop setup. So you're gonna make a cap band on your hook, and you're gonna take another mother pro band, and you're gonna pull it through the cap band loop and reclaim one side. Then you're going to take another band and pull through the first two and grab the band that is not the cap band loop. And you're gonna take one more and pull it through the first two and reclaim the band that is farthest from the hook. So once you have four loops on your hook, it should look something like this. And I do not count this as a loop, um, just so you guys don't get confused. So now I'm just going to flip sides. So I'm going to take this band off and reclaim the cat band. And just do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to take a border color, pull it to the first two, and... Reclaim the band that is not the cat band loop. And I'm going to take one more band and do the same thing. I'm making sure that this isn't the outside band. Okay. I'm going to pull through the first two and reclaim. So I'm going to be um, switching hooks. So, I'm going to be using my um, double-ended crochet hook for this part because um, it does get a little bit crowded. So, I'm just going to transfer this to my hook. I will just switch through between hooks. Maybe. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to start off the um, actual bracelet. 
So we're gonna take the color you're gonna use for the blue and the zebra stripe. And I exactly not gonna be doing the order I said I was for it because I don't remember the order. So I'm gonna just take um, tie-dye pink and blue and I'm gonna pull through the first six. Wait, no, sorry, never mind. So we're gonna take the band we're using for the glitter green and the blue in this bracelet in the bracelet which is like the blue you see throughout in the middle I'm going to put through the first six oh, guys so we're going to take that and put through the first six oops and what you're going to do is you're going to reclaim this loop skip the middle two and reclaim the outer three and rearrange the border band loops. So you should have something like this. And once you do, um, what you're gonna do is you're going to take the color you're using for the um, bands, these bands right here. And I'm going to be using Tad I think of blue now. And I'm going to pull it through the first four. And what you're going to do is reclaim the metallic band and skip the mother pro loop. And reclaim the border band loops and rearrange. And what you're going to do is take the band that's closer to the hook and loop it off. And you're going to grab this side of the tie-dye pink and blue band and loop it over the hook. And grab this mother pearl band and loop it back on. And I'm going to take um, mother pearl and I'm going to pull it through the first four loops. And reclaim that band that is farthest away from the hook. And I'm going to take one more. And I'm going to pull it through the first two and reclaim. So now we're going to flip it around and you should have something like this. So we're just gonna do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna take this band, pull it through the first four and reclaim the added three. So make sure you skip that with the pro loop. And take this border band loop off. Take this, um, tie band a little bit all the way off the hook and put that back on and take your border color and repeat and reclaim the band that's farthest from the hook and you're going to do this once more So you should have something like this, and they're just gonna repeat the same process. So I'm gonna go off camera, and um, I'm going to do this, and then I'll be back to show you guys how to close it. So once you have something like this, um, when you're back at your four loops, your eight loop setup, sorry, you're just going to take a final um, band and pull it through. I'm just going to switch hooks. And we're going to take one more. And you're going to take your C clip and clip it on. And you should have something like this. So this there is the um aquamarine bracelet. Again, don't forget to use the hashtags below. Um, they will be in the comment section and the description box as well. Um, if you would like to see them from there. Um, but yeah, so hopefully to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.